What's up everyone? Well, I went out to the farm the other day and I looked down and saw some of these flats of Japanese black pine starting to look kind of interesting. So even though it's only September, I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup work on them today. It's September here in San Francisco and I am preparing for the Pacific Bonsai Expo. Got my new t-shirt. And uh, I'm gonna be having a sales table at the expo. So if you guys are going to come, you can expect to see some uh, trees there that are not listed online. And in preparation for that, I am getting trees ready. I'm also gonna list some of these guys online. So let me know what you think of them in the comments below. Uh, so in order to clean these up, basically these are just finishing out their third year, but over the course of the the winter, last winter, I came in and repotted some of them into bonsai containers and started treating them more like small, uh, small refined bonsai. Moving out of the early development phase into middle, late development. Of course, with a, with a pine tree, with any bonsai, you can do all the branch work uh, in a bonsai pot because you want things to slow down. If I were trying to bulk up the trunk still, I would be keeping them in a larger container than I am here. And I'm kind of cheating by keeping them in flats of perlite nestled down so that the roots can actually escape out the bottom. It increases the vigor and just sort of gives uh, a little bit more resiliency in case this, uh, the roots that are in here dry out uh, a little bit too much. Although with a pine tree, that's usually not too much of an issue they have to get really dry before they actually get stressed out so what i'm doing right now is just cutting off some of the second year needles that are long and don't have buds in them so on a lot of these i cut them behind the node uh, into the needles of the second year growth in the middle of this summer and so all of these buds that you see up here came out of pairs of needles, but they're of different strengths. They're not all uniformly strong. And so I'm kind of leaving the, all the buds alone, everything that's come out, even if it's kind of clumped together. And I'm going through and removing uh, or scissoring shorter the long needles from year two. Now, it's a little bit early really to be doing this, um, but because of my preparation and the number of things that I have to do for the expo, I just wanna, kinda wanted to get it out of the way uh, and, and make these, just kinda clean them up. Generally speaking, you wait on black pine cleanup until uh, late fall, like October, November. Um, you want to not touch these needles at this point because they're still relatively tender and you can easily damage them. So really, I'm just leaving the newest needles alone and either scissoring in half or removing the old needles. So you can see on this guy that um, there's a fair amount of nice budding going on here and it's between the first year node and the second year node. The second year node has been removed up here. So I've got this nice clump of, of growth at the top, but then I've also got, you know, these, these buds, one, two, three, that one's kind of on the inside of a turn. And then this one might be at the, the one year node. I actually can't see it very well right now. In any case, this is gonna give me a lot of options in terms of continuing the development of this tree. I'm gonna set this aside and let's take a look at another one. So with each one of these, there's kind of a mix of stuff going on. Um, there's the part that I cut back up here. And then in this case, there's this strong branch over here that was not cut back. And to be honest with you guys, I really don't know why I did that. Um, like if I rotate this around, I kind of think to myself, I probably should have cut this back into here and it's probably too late to do that and have any sort of a beneficial effect. 
So I'm gonna go through here and clean off some of these needles that didn't produce buds. I'm being careful to look and make sure that the, the needles that I'm removing here don't contain buds that have started to grow. It's, you know, if they haven't grown much, then it's harder to tell. But sometimes if you look really carefully right at the base of the needles and you see a little bit more, instead of it being slender like this one, if you see it a little bit more like bulbous looking, kind of starting to swell, like this one might be an example, uh, then it's possible that it's actually making a bud. And so I try to, at this stage, leave those guys on there uh, just in case they will provide a bud in between areas that, that don't have much in the way of budding. So I think this one has a bud in there, so I'm not gonna remove those needles, but I will uh, scissor them a little bit shorter. These guys I don't need. Since a lot of these needles already have brown tips from probably a heat wave that we had last summer, I don't really have anything to lose in terms of scissoring them back because when you scissor back needles on a black pine, you'll end up with brown tips. Um, with these guys that are super long on some of the side branches that weren't cut back, I'm just gonna scissor them back. And like I just said, it's gonna, it's gonna make brown tips, but it just gives you a better idea of what the tree is gonna look like as you continue to refine it. Um, when you leave them long, there's a couple of different, you know, in this particular kind of small style. If it was a big tree, I wouldn't be as worried about it, but you can actually uh, knock the needles off more easily when they're longer and uh, Obviously, the aesthetic benefit of just having it be shorter is also there. <sighs> All right, that's it for now on this one. I'm going to keep going. Basically, these old needles have, uh, they just look a little bit tired. I had a, last summer I had an issue with uh, needle blight on the needles and thankfully a little bit of treatment with propiconazole and some preventatives this spring has kept the new needles from getting infected. That doesn't prevent the old ones from still looking like garbage. Now you can pull these off as well, uh, but do kind of evaluate each individual needle, especially in areas like this, where you can really use additional buds and before either scissoring or um, pulling them off, just be sure, because once you take them off, it's really not as easy to get back budding in these areas. You have to get the, the tree to really want to back bud after these needles are gone in order for it to happen. So I'm actually scissoring them off relatively short, which leaves the trunk looking a little bit younger and messier, but uh, gives it more uh, ability to continue budding. All right, that's about it for that one. All right, last one for today. And this one, it's kind of interesting. It has a very clear delineation between the first year node, which is right here. So in other words, the seedling germinated and then it grew up to here. And then the bud that turned into this part of the stem set right here. There's always a lot of nice little growth down in this area. And oftentimes when I'm making smaller trees, I just take advantage of these 
buds and remove everything above it. This is uh, really more of like a Bunjin style tree. So I'm gonna keep uh, the nice summer growth that I've gotten up here this summer. And all I'm doing today basically is removing some of the old needles uh, and cleaning up uh, the overall aesthetic of it. Now, just like with the other ones, there's there's actually a pretty good number of buds up in here. Like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, uh, 11. So plenty of budding at the top and that makes it easier to uh, create a design later. It sort of looks cute right now and uh, I actually really like it at this stage, the way that the, the growth is really kind of already compact and gives you a little bit of a, the beginnings of a feeling of a, of a nice little, of a nice little Bunjin pine. So, you know, in the, in the coming year with all of these, because there's now more distributed growth here, just like I cut back into the needles uh, here this summer, next summer, you can actually cut back into all of these needles and start to create a lot of budding in there. Um, and so as long as you keep up with the horticulture, you will be well on your way to having a nice little mini uh, Bunjin pine. All right. I hope to see all you guys at the expo. If you want to pick up a t-shirt, you can check out PacificBonsaiExpo.com. There's actually three different designs, and this is uh, one of them. This is, you know, Deadwood Swoop and the logo, but there's two other designs. Uh, keep your eye on our social media channels as well as website and email, and we will be releasing some of these before the show, and we'll probably have more of them at the show. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.